It's another beautiful day in London, so I headed over to Chelsea to meet Matthew Maynard, who's the general manager of Bluebird Cafe, because I've been hearing great things since they reopened. Matthew, how are you? Thanks for coming on PCTV. I'm very well, thank you. Has uh, life treated you well since lockdown's been lifted? It has. I have to say we're pleasantly surprised. Um, we've been very busy, frankly, since, since day one. Great. And has there been queues out the door? There has been queues out the door and down the road. Wow. Um, of course, socially distanced. Yeah. But um, the, the terrace, given the weather, has been incredibly popular. I mean, it's such a popular restaurant anyway, and then you've got all these other rooms as well. Uh, we spoke uh, off camera about the events. That's quite a big part of your business, and you, you're, you're planning to book some more in, in August, you, you tell me? Yeah, at the minute, our event rooms are, are empty, um, but bookings are coming in. There is definitely interest, um, and of course, subject to guidelines, we hope to get that fired up again relatively soon. What exciting projects has Bluebird got in store for customers in 2020? Well, I think um, our terrace uh, collaboration with Nightingale is going to be great. We've got an installation there, which should look really great once that's done. Yeah. Upstairs, we're hoping to, when we're allowed, to get some live, live music in our bar, yeah. which uh, we haven't done before. So, Bluebird's part of D and D. Tell me, tell me about the rest of the group. How have they been affected, and, and what's open, what's not open? Well, I think we've been we've been fortunate. I think we are ultimately a neighbourhood restaurant, um, and it is the local neighbourhood places that seem to be doing really well. And the places in the city remain really quite affected. We've got Cop d'Argent uh, in Bank and Madison in St Paul's, um, and they really haven't seen the same levels of business that they're used to, unlike us. Yeah, yeah. Cop d'Argent is one of my favourite places in the city, uh, and Madison's as well. Uh, you know, it's a beautiful day in London, so. Places with outdoor spaces are really popular right now, aren't they? Especially with the social distancing and people going out and having trust that they're going to be safe. That's for sure. That's for sure. And I think people definitely do feel safer outside. But saying that, we, we, there's still demand for the restaurant uh, and bar that we're in now upstairs. So we're very happy with that. But ultimately, of course, the outdoor rooftops and outdoor terraces are doing very, very well. If I was coming in today to eat, what measures would I expect to see that you guys have implemented? So here at Bluebird, you get your temperature checked before you enter the building. Um, all of our own staff are in masks or visors. We pre-pack all your cutlery and napkins that you're going to use into a sealed envelope. Um, so no one has touched that before, before you eat. And also we've got sanitizing stations throughout the building um, for you to use at your leisure. It sounds like you're on top of it and uh, it, it's obvious by how busy you've been that people are being really receptive to that and uh, hence why you're so busy. Yeah, I think the, the perception is great and I think that's maybe one of the reasons that we are doing so well is that we are taking things very seriously um, and I'm not sure that's the case everywhere else. So, And we have seen on our reviews from guests that they do, they do feel safe and they're very impressed with the measures we've taken and so we'll continue to do that. I'm interested to know your opinion on what you think is the future of hospitality. I do think the, the face of hospitality is going to be very different and I, I do worry for central London because um, I'm not sure how, how the offices will come back and I certainly don't think they'll come back in the capacities that they once were. Um, you can already see the West End of the city remain very, very quiet. So I think you'll see larger groups such as ours uh, branching out outside of London, um, which will be great for your local neighbourhoods. I think you'll see a better quality of restaurant um, closer to home. And is D&D planning to expand? We certainly were prior to lockdown, yeah. and I think we still, we still will. Our, our owner is, always has a very positive attitude, so we have a restaurant in Bristol coming up, um, and I'm fairly sure that's still going ahead. So I'm positive, and I think ultimately people want to eat and, and dine out, and I don't see that going kind to of change at all. Well, it's been an absolute pleasure speaking to you. Thanks so much for coming on the show, and uh, I wish you all the best for the rest of the year. Thank you very much. Cheers.